Hello, in this video, I am going to show you the stretched link helper. So I have this little card right here before I actually cover it. I will provide a link to the stretched link, you know, web page. So feel free to go and, you know, check that out because there is a lot more information available there. OK, so we have this, you know, web page with this card thing that I've implemented. It could be any sort of system, really, but it really lends itself to this. And I can't click on anywhere apart from here. So because that's the button, if I click on it, it takes me to the Batman Wikipedia page. But if on the button or whatever is clickable, I put the stretched dash link class and now I reload, I can click any part of that sort of, you know, don't want to say the word container because container is its own, you know, you know, class, its own sort of element type in Bootstrap. But it's, you know, this, you know, div essentially. So if you have multiple cards and you want the user to be able to click on them, you'll provide you some sort of preview, maybe some brief information. But the bulk of it is when you click on these, instead of making it just clickable via the button it's really good for mobile because that way you know the user doesn't have to just try and press that small button which can be a bit awkward sometimes especially for people with larger fingers so you can just click anywhere so if i just click there it takes me to the wikipedia page which you know is what is linked right here but again it could be any page or anywhere on your web page or website so that is it. There's more information on the stretched link, but that's essentially the nuts and bolts of, you know, the stretched link helper. If you have any questions, feel free to pop me a message. And as usual, I look forward to seeing you in the next video.